What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna show you how to back up your ghost blog. So there's two different ways to back up your ghost blog. One is through the admin interface, and the other is to use the command line to just back up all the files. So to use the admin interface, what you can do is you can go to your ghost blog. I got a new one set up here. Go to slash ghost, just like you would to write a post or anything. Go to labs, and then hit the export button. And so this is gonna export a JSON file that has all of your post data in it, all your tags, all your content, everything like that. Now you can take this and import it into any other ghost blog you want and you'll have everything back, except for the images. Because this is just a text file, it doesn't actually store any of the images. Uh, with the export the way it is now, there's currently no way to grab the images from the admin interface. That's gonna come in time, but at this point right now, there is no way to do that. So the way to do that is to use SSH to back up your ghost blog. Now some services don't have SSH access like Ghost Pro or a small orange or any other shared hosting service. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure if you ask them, they'll gladly give it to you. But if you have a VPS like DigitalOcean or something like that, you can go ahead and SSH in your ghost blog and make a full backup that way. So let's go ahead and SSH root at where your ghost blog lives, usually your URL, password. So now um, we want to go to where Ghost is living. So in DigitalOcean, that's cd slash var www. So now you can see we got Ghost right here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to stop Ghost because you don't want it running when you're making a database copy because it could corrupt something. So on DigitalOcean, that service goes stop. On your service, it might be forever stop or something else, but on DigitalOcean, service goes stop. So now that Ghost has stopped running, we're just gonna sudo copy everything on from ghost to ghost backup. So now this is copying everything inside the ghost file over to the ghost backup folder. So I'm essentially making an exact same folder. So now you can see I got two, a ghost and a ghost backup. So now the ghost backup is just gonna be there in case something happens to the ghost. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and start ghost, which is service ghost start. And that'll start everything back up. Ideally, what you would want to do is take the ghost backup and put it on a different server or on your computer at home, somewhere where if you lost this entire VPS, you'd be fine because you'd have the data files elsewhere. For example, we throw it up onto an Amazon S3 cloud storage, so that way it's always up there if something happens here. So that's a good idea just to get it somewhere else. But for right now, you do have a backup of your theme, your images, all of your content. And that way, if you were to corrupt something or something on the VPS were to get corrupted, you do have a backup. So that's how you back up your ghost blog. It's pretty simple. Um, just doing the export will at least get you most of what you want, which is your content that takes you so long to write. If you need the images, you need the theme backup, use a SSH um, or ask like Ghost Pro, I'm sure they would be more than happy to give you whatever you need. So we do have a text-based post on this if you wanna follow along, if you wanna just go ahead and copy and paste the commands um, or get a little more help. And that's it for this week's video. Feel free to subscribe. We're gonna come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.